who was the weirdest neighbor Yao've ever had, and what made them so strange. Lady next door to my old house was constantly looking in the windows that faced her side of the house. She wasn't subtle about it, either. She would stand in her driveway and just stare into our windows. One was my bedroom window, the other for a spare room slash junk room. She also let her dogs out to charge the fence any time I was out cutting the grass. I learned when the guy who lived on the other side of her got foreclosed on that she hated people living on either side of her. She did not want neighbors. Period. Then why the hell did you choose to buy a house in the city? Had a lady similar to that who lived across the street. Only she'd stand in her kitchen and stare out her window into ours. Once. My dad and I were going camping. He moved the truck with the camper into the street so we could load it up. She called the cops because she couldn't see into our living room. Lady was a real nut. Your should bought some blinds. That world sent her over the edge. Had a hardcore alcoholic married to a Seventh Day Adventist living in a house with no electricity. Without electricity. How is that Ben possible? Ben is always possible. I had a neighbor across the hall who painted everything orange. She spray painted her entire car orange. Her apartment windows and blinds were orange. I got a glimpse inside her place while walking by once and sure enough, everything inside was orange. She never spoke and was an elderly lady. Lived alone from what I could tell. Was it all the same shade of orange? Yup. All the exact same color. Like a carrot orange. About 10 years ago I had a 30 years old man in a studio apartment below me. First sign of trouble was the heavy smoking coming up the vents. We complained. His landlord installed heavy duty filters. Then we would hear this punching sound in the middle of the night. When we pass him in the hall. He was always polite. So we talked with his landlord about what his deal was. Turns out he was a marine corp captain fought in Fallujah in the Iraq war. Now he can't function. From what I saw of his apartment is just blackout curtains. Smoke and empty bottles. His landlord was ex-navy and I did few years in the army. So we tolerated him as much as we can. His family moved him out a year later. Hope he is well. We had this neighbor who we didn't talk to much. He played music really loud and it was annoying as heck. They got a microphone for Christmas. I think you can guess how I know that. Anyways. We didn't talk much until the day he was moving out. He was explaining to us that he was moving to Nashville cause this city don't have any soul. My husband and I quote that to each other all the time because we think it's hilarious. This guy was clearly a meth head and never did make it to Nashville. I see him and his kids around town from time to time. Moving to Nashville cause this city don't have any soul. I'm actually laughing out loud right now imagining this ongoing inside joke in execution. Hilarious. Tennessee resident here. Nashville is also ridiculously expensive. So that concept alone makes it funny. Wasn't weird. But horrific. Had a neighbor kill his girlfriend with a shotgun. Started a fire in the house. Then turned the gun on himself. Oddly. This wasn't the first time a neighbor's house went down in flames. Once your second neighbor's house has burned down you have to ask yourself if you're the problem. So he killed his girlfriend out of love lived down the hall from an approximately 1. 000 year old woman who had an army of cats. We often would do neighborly things for her, help her carry groceries, etc, and she would say things like I was just telling Richard how kind you are. We assumed Richard was a cat because she also told us she lived alone. After living in our condo for over a year, my husband and I got married. And she wished us a marriage as harmonious as hers and Richard's. And we realized Richard is her husband. So now we feel so much worse. Because we think not only is she feeble. But she is talking to her dead husband. Three years after that. We found out that Richard wasn't dead he lived at their vacation house. And she lived in the city condo. And they would meet up once a month at the vacation home. We found this out when an ambulance came to take him from her unit after he had a coronary. Apparently he never visited the condo in the city for a reason. We used to have a neighbor that would vacuum his lawn at least twice a week. Under Panty Man. So named because he was always wearing a speedo. Mowing the lawn. Speedo. Getting the mail. Speedo. Petitioning the hoa to allow greater variations in paint colors. 
Speedo. We aligned politically because he was fighting the good fight for individual rights. But I never had a serious conversation with him. Couldn't really have a serious conversation with a man wearing speedos. Had a neighbor who claimed to be a government assassin. I didn't believe him. He was almost always stoned and in a great mood when we chatted. Inside his house he had dozens of different kinds of rifles though, and he'd leave for months at a time. He'd also be home for months at a time not leaving his house at all. I don't know man. If TV shows and movies have taught me anything, that guy is nothing but an assassin. Plus he told you he was an assassin, which you'd think an assassin would never do. Hence, that's the perfect cover up story too. Like he's joking, but secretly telling the truth. Ask him where was he the day JFK was assassinated. If he acts totally normal, he's definitely an assassin. Cause he would have had to practice acting normal during an interrogation. My neighbor, hash1, is very weird. The neighbor, hash2, next to hash1 had issues and had to go to court. Neighbor1 sweeps the streets at 6am and puts plastic bags on her side view mirrors of her car. I don't know why. She'll clean her patio and clean her whole ass fence. Don't know why lol. I don't care that she cleans her fence. But 2, 3 x a day. Isn't that a little excessive? Question mark. Close bracket. Neighbor 1 and 2 went to court over property or something like that. I remember neighbor hash 2 telling me that he caught neighbor hash 1 scrubbing down his fence for no reason. Edit. I just remembered hash 1 took hash 2 to court over hash 2 parking his van on his own property. He owns a DJ company and he told me how she took him to court over it. I guess because he parks it in front of his house. I believe hash 1 actually won to update. The 10th of February 2020. She went on our property and started rinsing our fence off right in front of us. The bags on the mirrors might be to keep birds away. We had a mocking bird who was obsessed with our car mirrors and he would poop all over the car. And I see. It was still strange. I think she stopped doing them like last year, but it was very random. Former neighbors used to dig holes all over their backyard, about 2 feet deep. They were in their 50s and kept to themselves. Feet actually go out of their way to avoid the rest of the neighbors. Someone got concerned and called the police thinking maybe they were burying something. Police went over and checked. Nothing happened though. They didn't find anything. About 6 weeks later, they ended up moving. Maybe they were treasure hunters. Or they were terrible at lawn aeration. Used to live next door to a little old lady who went for a walk every day carrying a baseball bat to fight off the dangerous dog. Found out later that the dangerous dog was a Great Dane that wagged its tail at her once. She was weird in other ways too, but that one stayed with me. Well, being found dead on his bathroom floor was an odd personality quirk. Oh Jim, you quirky duck. Are you dead? That's such a Jim thing to do. Schizophrenic and her husband lived next door when I was a kid. I'm assuming she was unmedicated. She constantly came over talking about message being sent to her in license plates and needed us to call 911 for imaginary emergencies. Phones were bugged, so she didn't have one at home. They once had me pet sit their two huskies for a week while they went to California. BTW turns out their dogs had racist names that I didn't clue into till I was older. Well a week goes by and no one is home. Two weeks. Three weeks. Four weeks. Eventually it turns out the husband was arrested on a warrant in Mexico. Eight months later he somehow got out of jail and they came home. I got a piggy bank as payment for my trouble. My current neighbors are from a country which I shall not name. And arrived not too long ago. Maybe about four years ago. They're not accustomed to British life, so they did some unusual things we don't deem normal or socially acceptable. The absolute worst of this being, all family members, like 5 of them, would strip completely, but naked and have a communal shower outside using buckets and crates, cock and balls and all. It was just normal to them, and they saw nothing wrong with it, and I can watch it all in HD from my bedroom window. Username checks out. She had 3 kids under the age of 5 or 6. They would scream all the time. And her reaction more times than not was shut up. A town over has someone with minor local infamy whom they refer to as the virgin creeper. 
He dresses head to toe in elaborate costumey clothes and walks through country roads and fields with a small dog. And nobody knows who it actually is. There are apparently a couple of copycat creepers in neighboring towns as well. Creeper? Or man? We lived in a fourplex rental for a short period. The neighbors were nice elderly couple. The two girls upstairs were cute college girls and were friendly and quiet. The other unit was rented by a local business that only used it for their summer interns 2-3 to three months in the summer. The neighbor across the alley from us was ducking nuts. He had high powered halogen floodlights on all four sides of his house that came on at dark and were on all night. Our master bedroom we had to hang beach towels over the blackout curtains to sleep. We rarely ever saw him outside, and if we did, he never spoke. He had a car in his driveway that never moved while we lived there. No one came or went. I have no idea how he survived. There was always a camcorder pointed at our window with the blackout curtains. Our patio. Or the girls upstairs window or patio. I guess one time, just before we moved in. The two girls upstairs were enjoying a nice day on their deck in appropriate girl summer attire and watch this guy adjust his camera to capture them better. They called the cops, but I don't think anything came of it, since the camera use didn't stop. Occasionally he would take pages of handwritten notes to his window point out for us, someone, to read. It easily readable handwriting, but the words didn't form readable sentences. I was happy to leave after our year lease was up. Growing up. We had a neighbor in our apartment complex who was in his 20s and completely illiterate. He got in trouble for doing petty crimes like vandalism from time to time. Always wondered what happened to him. The neighbor next to him shot himself in the head. And another neighbor down the hall made sexual advances on me when I was a kid. Honestly. That whole place was pretty ducked. Wow. That does not sound like a health place to grow up. Yeah it was a pretty shit trailer trash town. Had our family car broken into twice I think. Our apartment broken into once. And also teachers being fired for mistreating students. Glad I got out when I did. During volunteering in Greece. We had a neighbor. Always smelling of alcohol. When we went to the market to collect donations. Food. He would wait at his balcony and ask for an orange. We had to throw it to him. Up to the balcony and he would catch it. Sometimes he came to our house to give us some liquor as an exchange. After a few weeks we all of sudden didn't see him anymore. I think he is dead. Please click subscribe if you enjoyed this video.